Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do October readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind, they are general readings. So take what applies and kick to the curb the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You know I think you guys rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with moi, all the info will be in the box below. This reading is going to be for Libra. So let's see what's shaking in October for you. Wow, Libra. All I got to say is wow. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> you go, Libs. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. Ten's being at the end of a cycle. This is having all the valuable things that you want and be able to enjoy them. Whether that is money. Or the, all the things that you find worth in. And that's just complimentary of this reading. I got to tell you, it's probably one of the best readings that I've done so far out of all the signs. Let's dive right in. We're going to start off with the Three of Cups. Now, Libra, this is about rejoicing, celebrating, having a you day, me day, barbecue day. Come on over, have a drink day. It could be as subtle as just celebrating, you know, a birthday. It's a hangout day. Okay? A lot of times people will say it's a third party interference, but I don't see that, you know, in this spread. I honestly believe that this is a, um, you know, a get happy day. Alrighty. And what is... Crossing you to help or hinder is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. And this could be a new creative endeavor. Very possible. Or it is a new course of action to take. Hmm. Either way you go. Libra, I think you're in a, a great spot right now. Um, in your foundation, you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is the, what I call, induced to engage card. It's like somebody eggs you on. They egg you on. To the point, it just gets ridiculous. So you pick up a sword, you start swilling with your truth, and you're like, yeah, you're fat in those pants. I'm not even sorry I said it. Should never egg me on. Of course, that's just an example. But you know, it's like somebody has to draw it out of you. So whatever position you're in, Right now, Libra, it's like you had to fight for it. Not you wanted to, but you did. And I think you came out pretty victorious because what's crowning your whole reading here is the Empress. Now, depicted as a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, she is the queen of all queens. She's very nurturing. She's very protected. From the universe. She's the only queen. That is. That has a shield. But she can. Birth. An idea. Into the here and now. It could mean pregnancy. Maybe that's what you're rejoicing about. And if it does go that way. Hey props to you. Congrats. But from more so. I think it is somebody who is. Um. Getting into their creative side and maybe taking something, an idea, putting it into practice, taking that course of action. 
Again, props. Now, in your recent past, Libra, you have the Hermit. And the Hermit is a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He gets it on his own. That way he knows it to be true. He's also somebody who has intuition. That light in his lantern, it's his inner light. That's what he follows. Sometimes it means seclusion, you know, isolation. Libra, maybe you do have this idea that you want to bring into the here and now, that you want to make a reality, you know, and you did some introspection on this. How to make it work. What has to go into it? You know, all the fine details. Maybe kept these details to yourself until you had all the facts and figures that you need. Not a bad thing. Now, going into your future, you have another major arcana. You have temperance. And this is all about being balanced. She's halfway in water. She's halfway out. The equal balance of the head, the heart, your hopes, your fears, conscious, subconscious, and keeping everything balanced. So keeping it cool, Libra, keeping it cool, not flying off the handle, not getting, you know, emotionally distraught. Okay. Now how people see you in your environment. You have another major arcana. Look at you go. You have the lovers. Now, of course, this is the intertwining of two souls. The I get you card. It's a Gemini card. Temperance would be Sagittarius. The Hermit would be Virgo. But more so, it's the message of the card. Now, if somebody's looking at you... Like you're a soulmate. Not a bad thing. But the other meaning of this card is major life-changing decisions. And again, if this is a business that you want to start off, oh yeah, that's a game changer. If this is matters of love that you had to Fight for your position of where you want this relationship to go. And you kept even, you know, keel like the scales in the Libra sign. That you are. You are balanced. You're, you're balanced in every way. It looks like. Now, what's in your environment is a 10 of wands. 10, being at the end of a cycle, leaves. This is somebody taking all their experiences, all their know-how, and then moving forward. It's a burden, it's a heavy load. But they'll drop it when they need to get to where they need to be. Now Libra, I do think that you are ready to embark on a new endeavor, and you're gonna take all your experiences you know, in everything that you've learned in life, and you're going to put that into practice. Take it with you. You haven't forgotten these lessons. You learned by them. And maybe by these lessons that you're going to take with you, that's what keeps you balanced. Not making the same mistakes twice. And again, Libra, it's just a Great reading, you know, all the way around that you are even keel. You know what you want. And you're going to get it. You're in pursuit of it. Maybe that's a course of action that you want to take about this endeavor that, you know, maybe you wanted to start for years. And now it's time to, you know, dust it off and go for it. The timing might be right. Yeah. And the same goes for a relationship. You know, you kept it cool. 
You didn't fly off the handle. Okay? You didn't make the same mistakes that maybe in previous relationships. And because you put these things into practice, you know, it's going to pay off. Now, Libra, in your hopes and in your fears, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, here's your Earth sign of uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. She has all the valuable things that she wants and needs. She's very down to earth. She's a realist. Her head isn't in the clouds. She is a methodical, practical person. King, queen, doesn't matter. It's an energy. She's very down to earth. She's easy to talk to. Loves plants, animals, outdoors. And in your hopes and your fears, I can't see anyone fearing being the queen of pentacles. I love the gal. But this is somebody who does have all the valuable things in her life. Libra, can it get any better than this? Under this, you have the Nine of Cups. This is a wish being granted, being fulfilled. It's a yes card. Great, great reading. Very positive. You're going places, Leaves. You're making things happen for you. And, you know, again, props to you. Your outcome card... The world. And this is about one cycle ending and another one starting right behind it. A cycle that has adventure to it. You know, broadening your horizons. All types of um, opportunities. Doors opening for you. Libra, by far the best reading I have done. So positive. Any way that you go with this reading in matters of love or matters of career, you got a great forecast for you, a great future in front of you because you're making it happen for yourself and things are coming into place. So Libra, couldn't be more happier for you. That's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.